If choosing the right tense confuses you, this video will help you to understand present tense properly. Let's see the first question. The earth rotates, is rotating on its axis once every 24 hours. As I mentioned, this is an exercise on simple tense, sorry, uh, on present tense. You have to find the correct answer. And the correct answer in this particular case is the earth rotates. Since we are talking about universal facts, we can use simple present tense. And this is how simple present tense is written. Before we move to the second question, I have a piece of information that I really want to share with you. Our fluency, English fluency course is starting on 23rd of May. The details of the course are in the description. The registrations are already open, which you can see on our website right now. We have given the detailed description of what will be covered in this session. Majorly, the topics are talking about grammar, fluency, writing skills. If you want to have personal feedback, you want to have personal sessions with me, you're more than welcome to join our fluency course. Let's move on to the next question. We rarely dash go going to the movies anymore. So you have to focus on some key elements in a sentence. Those key elements can also help you to understand what is the correct answer. In this case, I hope you have already got the correct answer. If not, then find out. The correct answer is we really rarely go to the movies anymore. That means we are not going to the movies anymore. Or in general, these days we are not going to the movies. So we are using simple present tense again. Go is the correct answer. Rarely helps you to understand that this is also a simple present tense that we are talking about a habit. So in the first question, we were talking about universal truth and in the second question, question, we are talking about a habit. And whenever you're talking about a habit, you can use simple present tense. Next question, what dash your brother do for a living? What does your brother do for a living? It's a very simple answer. And the answer is, what does your brother do for a living? Okay, since we are talking about a brother, which is a singular subject. And whenever you are talking about a singular subject, you have to use does form. You have to use S or ES form of the word. Same we did in rotate. Since we are talking about earth, so we said rotate. We have to use S or ES form of the word. Next question, while I dash, my sister is dash at the library. Okay, here we have two blanks. That means we are trying to solve two cases here. While I dash, so let's say the correct answer is while I work, my sister is studying. So is studying is present continuous tense and work is simple present tense. This particular question has two examples in there. We have simple present tense, we have present continuous tense. Simple present tense we are writing with the form of I work. I is an exception. Only with I we can use work directly or we use they, we, you and we use work. But if we talk about she, he, it, Ram, Sita, Sun, Moon, we always use works. In that case you have to put an S. I hope this distinction is clear. If not, you have to catch more examples on it. Try to find some examples on Google and try to do this exercise again. Okay, here is studying. So with is or are or am, you have to use ing form of the verb. If you are talking about something which is in process. So the sister is in the process of studying. She's continuing studying. Next question. They dash their lines for the school play all afternoon. Okay, they dash their lines for the school play all afternoon. Focus here. Are we talking about an exercise or an activity which is taking place for some time? Yes, it is taking place all afternoon. That's why the correct answer is are practicing. We have subject which is plural. That's why I have written are. And since I'm talking about an activity which is taking place for the entire afternoon, I have to use ing form. That's how you get a present continuous tense. All right, moving to the next one. Shh, the baby dash finally sleep or sleeping. The baby dash finally sleep or sleeping. I hope you are with me in this exercise. We are already done with five questions or four or five questions and your energy should be high. So let's see the answer for this one. Shh, the baby is finally sleeping. 
since we are talking about a process you know there was a process of making the baby sleep and finally the baby is sleeping in this moment when you and i are talking my baby is also sleeping my kid is also sleeping so we can say is ing form next question it dash rain outside so i think i'll cancel my plan now there is a key here if you notice this sentence this is divided into two parts we have joined two clauses together clause 1 clause 2 and we have joined with the help of a conjunction so one clause is in present tense and the second clause is in future tense and that's possible you can write one compound complex or compound sentence with the help of one tense and the second tense they could be of different situations So the correct answer in this case is it is pouring rain outside so I think I'll cancel my plan. Right now when you and I are doing this exercise it is pouring outside it is pouring rain. So this is a continuous tense. Always always remember this if you want to talk about universal facts you want to talk about habits you want to talk about something that you do every day use simple present tense. on the other side if you want to talk about a process which is taking place an activity which is taking place some for some time an activity which is happening right now when you and i are talking something is happening you can use continuous tense all right moving to the next one they dash already paint have already painted their house okay this is a little upgrade we are done with simple present tense we are done with present continuous tense now we are jumping to the last two tenses so there is a question on your screen and the correct answer is they have already painted their house now if you use the word already that means just now right just now or few minutes ago the process or the activity is done it's over and when you want to talk about an activity which is just over you know just over somewhere near to the present tense itself but few minutes ago in that case we use present perfect tense and in order to write present perfect tense we can have has have and verb third form so here we have used have since we are talking about plural they is plural so we have written have and we have written third form of the verb which is painted so we have written they have already painted their house remember this you want to talk about an activity which is just over or already over or it is yet to be over you can use present perfect tense next question lisa dash her friend in ages so we are talking about an activity which might be over or might not be over so the correct answer for this one is i hope you have got the answer right if you have let's move on the correct answer is lisa has not seen we are talking about a negative activity or a negative situation that the process of her meeting her friend is not over or she has not seen her so we have to say has seen present perfect tense next question dash she write the report yet it's a very simple one right i have directly give him the answer there but in order to get the structure correct you have to focus we have has and have so you will choose has and have based on what is the subject and since you are using has and have you have to write the third form of the verb so the correct answer is has she written the report yet right we are using has because of she and we have to use the third form of the verb so that's why we are saying written if you are understanding this you are already solving present perfect tense and a lot of students have complained about this particular tense ash i'm not sure how to write a present perfect tense this is how you write a present perfect tense has have plus verb third form to talk about situations which are over in the near past okay they continued from the past tense they continued till the present tense but before the present tense started they were over in those situations we use present perfect next one i dash think have been thinking about getting a new car lately we might be jumping to the next and the final tense in our exercise so the question is on your screen i dash think 
or have been thinking about getting a new car lately since you are talking about lately that means you are in the process of doing something it started in the past it is continuing till now and it's still not over that means the process of me thinking about getting a new car it's not over and when you talk when you talk about an activity which is not over but it is continuing you are talking about present perfect continuous it's a combination of perfect plus continuous tense why are we using perfect because the activity started somewhere in the past it is continuing and since it is continuing we are using continuous tense so the structure here is have been ing form you have to use been and that's why we are talking ing because we are talking about an activity which is in process of happening it's not over since it's not happening right now we are not using continuous tense we are using perfect continuous tense it started in the past it is still continuing okay next we dash a sand castle for over an hour there's always a keyword in your sentence you have to just be little focused we are saying over an hour that means it started it's continuing and there is no no hint about whether it's over or not but we are in the process of doing it for almost 1 hour for almost or more than 1 hour so the correct answer is have been building since we are talking about plural subject we have used have and since we are using present perfect continuous so you have to use been plus third form of the verb okay since we are talking about over an hour there's a duration and that's second difference between perfect tense and perfect continuous tense perfect tense or present perfect talks about an activity which is over perfect continuous tense talks about an activity which is not yet over but there is always a duration our focus is how long how long there the focus is when when it was over just now already yet right in this case for how long one hour one year two years that's the major difference i hope this is making sense next question has the mailman come does the mailman come yet he usually there are two questions here and two different tenses this whole exercise was about present tense and in present tense we have four categories correct we have four categories so you have to remember this and do this exercise the correct answer is has the mailman come yet since we were talking about yet that means the process is you know uh, not yet over it's not yet over we are using has plus third form of the verb we have framed a question here we are framing a question in perfect tense that's why has has come in the first position he usually delivers usually means habit every day usually means every day that's why we are talking about simple present tense so you have combined a perfect tense and a simple tense together now if you want more theoretical knowledge about these subjects about grammar topics about speaking fluency you want to practice one on one with me you want personal feedback from me you want to enhance your writing skills you are most welcome to join our fluency course which is starting on 23rd of this month 23rd may these classes are on zoom and the timings are 7:30 to 8:30 pm you'll be very surprised if you check our website we have given a detailed description of what will be covered in these sessions okay so grab the opportunity register yourself sign up today itself so that you can utilize the first come first serve basis of these session moving on to the next question i haven't seen don't see my glasses anywhere that happens with me all the time when i'm trying to look and if i don't have my glasses on i can't see i can't see much have you seen are you seeing them two questions okay i my glasses anywhere that means i am searching them so the correct answer is i haven't seen my glasses have you seen them this is present perfect this is present perfect this is negative present perfect this is positive present perfect affirmative and these are negative sentence i haven't seen my glasses anywhere have you seen them okay next we dash lunch at 1 pm there's always a hint in this sentence the hint is usually so you have to think if i am using usually that means i'm doing it every day so automatically my answer is 
simple present tense but today we dash because of our early meat so you have two options we have already eaten are already eating okay so the correct answer is we usually eat our lunch this is present tense simple present tense but today we have already eaten it because we had an early meeting or we have an early meeting so the process of eating has just over you know just finished so i'm saying have already eaten hope you had fun solving these questions we'll come up with more questions on past tense as well as future tense in our upcoming videos don't forget to join our fluency course which is starting on 23rd the details are in the description of this video as well